click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, welcome back to the subject of Machine Design 1. In the last lecture, we have gone through different formula and design aspects which are associated with the screw jack and its components. In today's session, we are going to start with the numerical which is, uh, which is very important in our case and um, uh, we are starting with the first part of it. Numerical will be given in, in terms of the details with the materials, their material properties also and some of the dimensions or the numerical will, will be given only in terms of the input parameters like the uh, load that to be lifted and the height to which the load is to be lifted. Right? So let us go for the extreme case where only few parameters are given and let us select all the materials which are associated. So the problem statement says that design a screw jack for the lifting of uh, 250 kilonewton load to a height of 270 millimeter. So that's the only problem statement. Rest of the material selection and all safety design we have to go by the procedure itself. So let us start with that. So the given data you have been given is the weight, the load, you can see either W or you can say P is 250 kilonewton and the height to which it is to be lifted so we'll say lifting height is given to 70 millimeter in some terms it can be taken in terms of meter also but we will prefer this cases so this is what the given input data guys as far as the screw jack or whatever design problems are concerned it's always desired or better it's advised to draw the dimensions uh, and the diameters of course uh, what i am to say is the figures we need to draw the figures for that particular component and show the dimensions and the diameter i've done it uh, for this particular problem like this this is how you are supposed to uh, draw the uh, figure need not to be very accurate need not to be very precise a beautiful figure uh, the only dimension should be specified that is very important now one thing that was missing is the hatching part so it shows that it's a cross section of this particular thing now like we have seen it in the previous lectures this is the frame this is the nut this is the screw and this is the cup So there comes another hatching kind of thing. So that is where the actual load is going to act. So this is the one of the given parameters and this is the second given parameter HL. So the basic problem is we have, we have to design this particular screw jack which is a standard design where the only parameter given is the load that is acting actually downward and the lifting height the height from the screw head up to which the lifting can be possible so that is HL so these are the only two parameters are given there are many more dimensions but I have shown very precise and very important dimensions as of now so very first dimension that is the outer diameter of the screw the core diameter of the screw that is also called the inner diameter you can say the core diameter where the your threads come into picture of course, the, uh, the same diameter will be liable for the nut as far as the core diameter is concerned. Then D1 is the diameter of nut of this section and D2 is the diameter of nut of this section. Whereas D3 will be diameter of this particular cup body or the handle where it is fixed. Then D is the diameter of the handle head of course and similar smaller dimensions that we are going to consider there are certain dimensions like diameter of the frame outside diameter inside diameter which again come with the standard uh, empirical relations but we are going to directly uh, incorporate them during the procedure only so in the first part we are supposed to design at least the screw body and let us see whether it is safe or not and that is how the second part and third part will be propagated so this di diam this uh, figure is very important because it actually carries the uh, weightage and mass so we have to start with the figure always 
uh, an advice did not beautify the figure make sure that it just reflects the important dimension and this is important just tag it screw jack and then it is done so let us proceed like we have seen the material which is uh, the material which is given uh, sorry the data which is given we have written down so let us go for the material selection material selection mostly is done from PSG data book and we have to follow the standard practices again so I'm referring to the PSG data book and through which it says that the cast iron can be selected as the material for nut because it has got good uh, bearing properties castings are very good as far as the bearing is concerned in this particular application that is going to bear a lot of load and that's why we have to select some material which is good in bearing and the uh, steel for the material as the screw because screw is going to be uh, under principal stresses uh, or we are going to consider the principal stresses and for that the properties are good for the ductile materials so let material be for nut for screw It is going to be steel and it is going to be cast iron. Some specific cast iron will mention the properties. So, uh, permissible bearing stress is an important aspect. Again, we can refer to the PhD 7.87 for this. Seven point eight seven sigma bearing is equal to eight Newton per millimeter square, and it is nothing but permissible bearing stress. standard for this particular example or standard for the given materials moving ahead with the PSG um, let's select the psi value also which is again a standard relation let psi is equal to h divided by n let the value be selected as 2 for a timing with this let us move ahead with the screw parameters design now we know that this screw is going to uh, fail under the combined loading and hence we have to consider both of them but before that let us go for the uh, selection of the diameter dimensions Guys, in case of screws, in case of nuts, in case of uh, power screws, we go for this method where we actually find out the basic dimension based on which we go for the selection from the standard database available in the PSG and then we try to prove whether it is safe or not. So, we are going to do the selection but for that selection let us find out the basic parameter. So, the parameter is core diameter. Now, we know that as a failure criteria, the, uh, the dimension again empirical formula you can find out from the PSG data book and that says that the mean diameter should be either greater than or smaller than the twice of the load that is acting divided by pi psi into sigma bearing we have all the values let us substitute them it should be greater than or equal to twice the load they have given is 250 kilonewton newton 
psi value we have considered is 2 and bearing value is 8. So when we solve this particular thing, we get dm value as we solve it, we get it 99.73 millimeter. Upon calculation, we, we are getting this particular value of dm. Based on this, let us refer to the PhD data book and let us select the standard values and therefore from PSG it's a five point seven two with the standard power screws are given. Let's select a standard value which is matching with DM and that says the outer standard value they have given is one one zero millimeter then D inner is 98 millimeter and D mean which is D outer plus D inner divided by 2 comes out to be 104 millimeter. Next is the pitch that they has is 12 millimeter for the selection and the area of core is 7543 millimeter square so that gives me a standard selection superficially design ends here only but the only thing is we have to verify whether it is going to be safe or not so next uh, procedure is for the safety of that this particular selection based on which other dimensions will be defined and declared so let's move ahead so the next step is calculation of number of threads that we are going to look at so number of threads we already know this formula that uh, it, it is in terms of uh, the height and psi so psi is given by h divided by n the value we have selected is 2 it's a standard selection so based on this we are going to find out the number of threads but now if you see this particular factor is based on the uh, design of nut also we have to go for the design of nut uh, particular part also so let us uh, start with the design of nut through which we will select the only parameter which is required that is called h generally we are supposed to proceed like this a design of screw and then design of nut and rest of the body but uh, as of now we are going for the design of uh, nut only superficially so it's just a part design of nut height h now again the empirical formula that we can see is psi is equal to h by dm which is equal to t2 in our case and therefore 2 is equal to h which is unknown in our case but dm we already have found out with us is 104 and therefore h comes out to be 208 millimeter so this is the probable height that we are going to use through the nut height let us come back to the screw design where we already know that number of threads is equal to h by pitch p let me recollect there is a, a small mistake in the previous uh, thing it's a number of threads are generally given by pitch it's not psi so pitch is equal to h upon 2 which is not selected so this is what the formula is for which we need this factor h which we have found out rightly now 
this is what we need to find out we know the pitch we know the height so height is 208 so this was up to the nut thing we are going for the screw again divided by pitch the standard pitch which is given to us is 12 in this case and hence number of threads somewhere come out to be 17.33 now one thing is clear that uh, number of uh, some entity can't be a fraction so we'll go for the next uh, parameter that is going to be 8 and therefore n is equal to 18. So basically 18 number of threads are expected. Now as the number of threads are changing the actual height will also change. So we know this number of threads is equal to height divided by pitch and therefore actual height will become number of threads into pitch number of threads are 18 pitch are 12 216 millimeter so this is going to be the standard height or uh, of that particular nut that we are going to consider so this uh, where we finish with the h part of this particular thing so uh, next part we are going to look at uh, the uh, calculation of torque and uh, then based on that torque we are going to verify whether these traces are safe or not so in this video we just uh, went through the uh, design of screw uh, superficially and then uh, we went for the uh, dimensions of some of the uh, parameters of this screw. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to Ikeda. Thank you.